high school in PJs. Uh, I know you must have been very restless in the home, not being able to be outside so much with your friends. But I hope you really use that energy to put a smile on people's faces and not a frown. Okay, smile, not a frown. All right, but I'm so glad you're here today. We will pray, we will play, we will learn, and we will even laugh today. Okay, I'm glad you guys joined. But before we start, let's just start with prayer. All good things, my mama used to say, all good things start with a prayer. All right, so let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today. Thank you um, that we woke up and that we have a family and that you love us so, so much. Help us to learn more about how amazing you are and how much you love us in spite of how sinful we are sometimes. We love you, Jesus, and thank you for first loving us. Amen. Ready to play? Okay, I'm going to explain to you guys how the game goes. So, I'm going to pretend Andersonika is going to be playing with me. Maybe you played this before. I will have to make Andersonika to stay very serious. I really think she's going to win this game. So, I have to make a lot of silly faces, and she has to have a straight face. No smiles at all. And then she wins. So let's give it a try. Ah! Okay, she won. It's hard to make a plasticky baby uh, laugh very much. So, what we're gonna do, it's hard for you guys to make me laugh because I cannot see you. I can only picture how silly you guys must be when you make those faces. You can play this game with your siblings. But, what I can do is, I'm gonna try to make you guys laugh. But I know I can be silly sometimes, but not as silly as my little friend. So I want you guys to watch really closely, put your really serious face on, and just watch these little guys. And let's see if you guys can stay serious or you're gonna just burst laughing. Dogs. Why don't dogs make good dances? <laughs> because they have to get feet. Isn't that like funny? I have a last one for you. What happens when it rains cats and dogs? You can step in a puddle. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit by bunny because I think I need to come down too. Okay, bye, bye, bye. I hope you guys really enjoyed our little fun games and I hope you laughed a little bit because I did promise you to laugh, okay? We play, we pray, we laugh, but we're also going to learn something, something really cool that it may not make us laugh so much as to uh, learn more about Jesus. Well, I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible, my favorite book in the world. I'm gonna tell you a story from here. These are real stories. These actually happen. This is history. And I'm gonna tell you a story about Jesus and how he made the blind people see. And he made the lame people walk. Do you know what lame is? Lame doesn't mean that you're not cool, okay? Lame in the Bible means they couldn't walk and he made them walk 
he made the deaf people hear again. But you know, some people really love Jesus and praise and said, hooray, I want to meet this Jesus. But some people hated Jesus. So we'll pretend these are different little villages. All right. But for main, main events, they all had to come to festivals here at Jerusalem. Why was it important for them to go all the way to Jerusalem to the temple? In their little towns, they had uh, what we would call it the church, but they would call it the synagogue. So this town here, they had a synagogue. This town here, they had a synagogue. And in this one here, had a synagogue. Yeah, their own church. But for main, main events, they all had to come to festivals here at Jerusalem. So they're all coming, they're very excited, they're gonna celebrate the Passover. So as everybody was coming to Jerusalem, Jesus had to come to Jerusalem too. We'll pretend this little guy will play Jesus' role, okay? Some people loved him. They were like, thank you for making me see. Thank you for making my daughter better. Oh, thank you so much for helping me walk. Now I can have a job and take care of my family. Other people were very angry at Jesus. Before Jesus comes to Jerusalem, we need to remember what happened before that. Well, do you remember the two sisters? I'm sure they looked so chubby like these two. But Mary and Martha, that's right. Mary and Martha, they had a brother. His name was Lazarus, but he died. Lazarus was in the tomb. Now, when Jesus came, he said, Lazarus, Lazarus, come out of the tomb. And Jesus did a miracle. And Lazarus came out. He was all wrapped up in some cloth, like it was customary back then. And he took him out. And Lazarus came to life. So this miracle that Jesus did made Jesus even more famous and more people were talking about it. He's planning to go to Jerusalem to celebrate the festival. A lot of people are going to be talking. More and more people are talking about Jesus. Do you remember seeing that um, Lazarus, he was brought back from the dead. So it was a big, big deal for them. There you go. Now, Jesus, don't you think Jesus was very, very mighty, very strong? Yes, I think so. So what do strong people use when they go? I don't know how a horse he does. But Jesus decides to take a little donkey and to go humbly to Jerusalem. Now the people, when they saw Jesus come into Jerusalem, they found little leaves and they started saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the king. Hosanna, Hosanna. Everybody had leaves. Woo. Let's give them all leaves too. Hosanna meant saving us. Save us, save us, king. They thought Jesus was going to be saving them from the bad kings they had back then. But Jesus was going to do more than that. He was going to save them from their sin. We're gonna learn more about that next time. Remember how he was born in a stable, not in a castle? He chooses once again to enter a city, not with glory, not on a horse, but in humility. I hope we learn from Jesus, from this story, to stay humble. I hope you guys enjoyed our game and our story. But more than anything, I hope we will actually remember a lesson out of this. That we need to stay humble just like Jesus did. And what a better way to remember this principle, if not through a Bible verse. So I added a little bit of music so we can easily memorize it. It's James 4.10. Can you guys say it with me? James 4.10. How about you guys? Can you say it? James 4.10. Good job. Now let's sing it along.
good job, you guys. Yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed today. I hope you enjoyed the games, the story, the lesson we learned, and I hope you laughed some. Till next time, just remember to stay very humble and think of others just like Jesus did. I really hope you read. Really hope you're reading. Surely, pretty I mean, you really, really, so can really. <laughs> yes. How many really? I can really. E. Why did I say it, guys? Could you see me? No. Yeah. Yeah.